Hey, this is John Witherspoon from Friday, next Friday, Friday after next. The Wayne Brothers, Little Man, Black Jesus. How y'all doing? We're on Comedy Hustle. Uh, when you say the word Comedy Hustle, you know what it means to me? I've been in this business about 45 years, is get the money, get the money. You've already established yourself. The hell we're trying to establish yourself. I've already said it myself. I'm Pops, granddad on the boondock. Everybody know me. I come to get that paper. Paper, 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 paper. Um, my downfalls in my career was not knowing how to work this paper. So, uh, you know, if you don't know anything about money, don't be afraid to let your woman handle the finances. Don't think that you small. If I had listened to my wife, I would have about uh, four more million dollars. But I didn't. I got in the stock market talking to this shit. Yeah, man, I'm in the stock market, motherfucker. I'm in the stock market. That mother hit back at about 2008 and dropped. I lost all this fucking money. So if you can't do it, let somebody else do it. The advice I have for upcoming comics, upcoming actors or actresses, let me tell you something. You can't be in uh, Mississippi small town Mississippi, and you want to be a big star. Get your ass in a car, drive to California, work tables, go to the comedy club, get yourself an agent, go to acting classes, get into the Screen Actors Guild. That's the union. After, that's a union. Costs about three, four thousand dollars to get in there now. That's what uh, Holly told me. I don't know, when I got in, it was 135 dollars. Thank God I got in early. So if you want to do something, Get your ass out of small town. Get your ass to Hollywood. That's what they're hiring people. If you're a comic, go to the comedy store. Get in line. Laugh Factory, get in line. They got some new places so you can pay $5 and do five minutes. Pay five fucking dollars. Rob somebody before you leave. Stick a motherfucker up. <laughs> is that hey, this is John Witherspoon. This is my comedy hustle. Get that paper. Look here. Bye bye y'all. Yo yo, my name is Godfrey. This is my comedy hustle, bitch. I did, you know, oh, Cosby always told me, and you know, this is all before the controversy. Cosby told me, look at the word show business. What word is the bigger word? He said business. Always remember the business. The show is the smallest part. He said, and then he said, job do 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 do. Comedy hustle man doing selling drugs on the side when your shit is whack. No. <laughs> um, comedy also just, it means to me, I mean, just getting as much stage time as you can wherever you're at, whatever city you're at. I moved from Chicago to New York and, and the stage time in New York is crazy. And I really got to hustling when I got into New York because you can do five, six, seven shows a night. You get on stage a lot. So I think when I think comedy hustle, I just think about getting out there every night, getting on stage whenever you can. Oh, don't be too good for open mics and just really working your shit out. Because the more stage time you, you, you do, the better you get quicker. And quicker means like 15 to 20 years. <laughs> That's how you get good at comedy. Anybody that says not is a lying son of a bitch. Um, to actually be a really solid comedian, because Seinfeld said, um, yeah, you, you have to put your 10,000 hours in on comedy. That's a, 10 years is when you get your voice. 10 years, a decade, and from there, that's comedy hustle for me. When you bust your ass and you find your voice, but it's all about getting that stage time. There's gonna be a lot of shitty shows, a lot of shitty shows, you know? There's gonna be good ones too, but unless you're, you know, unless you get really good at what you do, you're gonna be doing lots of shitty shows. Even when you're good, you're gonna do shitty shows. Shitty shows never go away. Shitty shows are always around. <laughs> the good, perfect shows are when you're super famous. <laughs> but it's all about stage time and getting on stage. If you can find a club that lets you on stage, do it. If you can, if they want, if you host it, whatever, take advantage of that stage time. Comedy is like a sport. You have to show up and it's a physical sport. You gotta show up, you gotta put the work and put the practice in. That's what comedy hustle is. I've gotten advice um, advice from Seinfeld. He actually told me, he said, if you think about the years you are in comedy is like your age in comedy. 
He always said, remember that. That'll keep you your perspective. If you're, I've been doing comedy nine years. You're a nine year old. I was like, damn. And so like Cosby is a 50 year old. Carlin was a 40 year old. Chris Rock is a 30 plus year old. So when you're saying, I've been doing comedy seven years. Yeah, you're a seven year old. And it makes total sense. If you look, think about a seven year old, a seven year old knows how to talk, knows how to speak, but they don't know any complex words, really. You know, unless they're super, super genius or whatever. But I like that he said that. And Bernie Mac told me, also he said, it's not always like, sometimes when, you, when you're on stage and you headline, you're supposed to take people for a ride. It's good when you take people through different emotions and shit. Because nobody, he said, I don't care how, he said, I don't care how motherfucking funny you are. I don't give a fuck. He's like, nobody is funny every single second. He said something, he said it's not, that's not how it works. As long as the majority of the show is funny, take them for a ride, man. It's good to, even if they get mad at you, even if they, it's good to take them for a ride, telling a story, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And being your true self. And I got another one from Patrice O'Neill. Rest his soul, rest, Patrice O'Neill said, I don't, I don't need to be a, a $20 million motherfucker. He said, I want to be the $10 million motherfucker without losing my dignity. I'd rather, he said, a $10 million person can get as much shit as a $20 million person. You know, cars and houses, how many do you need? He said, I'd rather keep my dignity and get 10 million than lose it and, and make 20 million. He said that about Twitter. He said, I'd rather have 20,000 followers, true followers, than have 100 million knuckleheads. 